Hey guys, I got a question from one of you and you wanted to know how to make a text balloon in GIMP and I'm going to show you how to make this one and how to make this one and the first thing I'm going to do is delete these two layers here so we can start from the beginning and I assume when you make a text balloon that you already have your image that you want to make the text balloon on open and what you need to do first is create a new layer by clicking on this icon here and that's the layer you're going to make your text balloon on and make sure that transparency is ticked and click OK and now we're going to make our round text balloon first by going to the ellipse select tool and make a elliptical selection like this and then go to your free select tool or also the lasso tool it's the same thing and make sure that the mode is set to add to the current selection that's the second one and just make a selection like this and now you've got a selection in the shape of a text balloon so now go to your bucket fill tool and make sure your foreground color is set to white and that effect area fill hole selection is ticked and now just click inside and there you've got your white text and we want a black border around it and we're going to make our black border by stroking a path and we're going to create a path from this selection so go to select to path and now go to select none and you see nothing but there is a path around this balloon and now all you need to do is go to edit stroke path and now make your foreground color black again and you can do this by clicking on this default icon here now it's black again and I'm gonna stroke with a line width of 4 and then just click stroke and there you've got your first text balloon a round one with uh, pointy to where the little person who's talking is so that's your first text balloon and I'm gonna hide this now in my layer dialog and create the other text balloon by making yet another new layer for the next text balloon uh, with the same settings and click OK and we're basically going to do the same but this time with the ellipse uh, with the rectangle select tool and the reason why I'm doing this, showing you this anyway, is because we need to take rounded corners. And then you can even change the radius to something else. So make a text balloon size and look at the rounded corners. And if you want them to be rounder, then increase and decrease or whatever to make the corners the way you want them. So now we've got our rounded corners uh, rectangle and now we're going to go to our pre-select tool again and make a selection like this and make sure it's still set to mode add to the current selection and then we've got our shape again and again go to the bucket fill tool make your foreground color white and fill this in and we're going to go to select to path Again, and select none and now the last final step is go to edit stroke path and make sure your foreground color is black again so set it back to black and can use the line width of 4 again but you can of course change the line width to whatever you like and what fits your image and then click stroke and then I've got myself another text balloon but this time a square shaped text balloon with rounded corners and this is how you make text balloons in GIMP and I hope this was clear and thank you for watching and if you like this video then maybe you'd like to watch my other videos as well and subscribe 